The greatest video games are those where each of its various systems, from sound design to gameplay to graphics and visuals, all complement each other and work together to create a cohesive, memorable work of art. The original Silent Hill 2 is one such great work of art, because every component of that game blends with the others perfectly. The visuals of that game are complemented by Akira Yamakawa's brilliant soundtrack, which also complements the game's story. Now the story blends perfectly with the on-screen gameplay and in return the gameplay fits the visuals forming a perfect cycle of collaborative systems and genius design resulting in a game that is quite literally my favorite video game of all time. Now when I look at this new combat overview trailer of the upcoming remake, I feel like none of those systems are connecting or working together at all. The visuals are good, but they don't connect with the sound design. That moment when James is stomping on the headless armless mannequin, did they just take a royalty free sound effect for that? It was actually quite comical and that's like the worst thing you can go for in a horror game. Also, the guns sound horrible. It sounds like a children's toy. Just by the sound of it, they feel ineffective. And why is there, from the trailer itself, judging by, by what I'm seeing, why is there a little bit emphasis on the combat as if this is Silent Hill Homecoming? And as if this combat in Silent Hill Homecoming was any good to begin with? Why are we going back in time? I don't understand it. And why are there, why are there quick time events? Huh? Why did we bring that up? And all of, all of this results in a, in a disconnected game. I'm here questioning what is the vision here? What is the game trying to communicate now? What, why is there a combat trailer for a game that should place the least emphasis on combat? Now, to be fair, this is still in development. There is no release date, which is good. Take the feedback. I suggest even releasing a demo and understanding more from the players. Use all of that to improve and polish this remake. You will only get one chance to do it right, so do it right. And if you want to know why I love the original so much, I made a short video essay on it a while ago, back when the remake wasn't even announced. I'll leave a link attached to this entry if you are interested. <sighs> Anyways, this was Audiolog 16. I so hope this game uh, comes out and turns out well and they pull a complete 180 after this. Anyways, this was Audiolog16. My name is Rahel Blade. Thank you so much for listening.